All right, thanks, guys. We are coming off our third straight winning day on my Patreon website. We went 3-2 and two yesterday in our premium picks on that website. Uh, it's a site that I operate, and uh, we do daily premium sports picks, beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. Uh, a lot of great packages on there, and uh, we're red hot in a couple different packages as well. Uh, right now, our NBA tier package play, we are 12-3 and three in our last 15 picks in that tier. And the good news is we have another NBA tier package play going off tonight. But once again, guys, coming off a real nice 3-2 and two day yesterday on that page. Once again, if you want some more information about that, link for that website is in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, we got ourselves a very nice slate of competitive college basketball action here today. So let's go ahead and begin with Wisconsin taking on Indiana, 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Hoosiers are minus two, total at 129. Money's on the Hoosiers and the under in this one. Indy open one and a half, up to minus two. Total open 130, down to 129. Wisconsin's plus 120 on the money line. Wisconsin's also just 5-9 and nine straight up away from home this year. They're averaging just 60 points per contest as the official road team. The Hoosiers on the other side, very good at home. I believe it's uh, Assembly Hall, 15-3 uh, and three straight up on their home court. 77 points per contest uh, on their home court as well. Now, the Hoosiers are 11-7 and seven to the over in the friendly confines. I'm going to lean toward the home favorite in this one. Give me the Hoosiers, minus two, and the over, 129. Next game, Villanova, Georgetown, 12 o'clock tip-off. The Wildcats are seven and a half on the road, total at 145. Money's on Villanova and the over right now. We saw a one-point move toward the Wildcats and a one-point move upward on that total. Villanova open six and a half, up to minus seven and a half. Total open 144, up to 145. 68% of the consensus are leaning toward Villanova. 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Hoyas of Georgetown, they are plus $3 on the money line. And speaking of the money line, Georgetown has not been getting the job done with regard to the money line as of late. Losers of their last five straight games. They're allowing 74 points per contest. Meanwhile, Villanova on the other side, winners of six out of their last seven. They're also 11-4 straight up away from home this year, 73% against the spread as the official road team. They rank in the top 20 in offensive field goal percentage. Now, total-wise, the Wildcats are 70% to the under in their last 10. They're also 8-3 and three to the under as the official road team. I'm going to lean toward the road chalk in this one. Give me Villanova, minus 7.5 in the under 145. Next game, Auburn, Volunteers, 12 o'clock, Tennessee. The balls are minus two and a half, total 136 and a hook. We are seeing money on Tennessee and the over in this one. A one point move toward the Volunteers and a one and a half point move upward on that total. The balls open one and a half up to minus two and a half, total open 135 up to 136 and a hook. 52% of the consensus are leaning toward Tennessee, 64% shaded toward the over. And right now the Auburn Tigers are plus 130 on the money line. Auburn, 8-5 and five straight up away from home this year. They rank in the top 10 in the nation in offensive rebounding. They're also in the top 30 in scoring on average per game. Tennessee on the other side, they've successfully covered the point spread in just 6 out of 16 home games this year. They're also averaging just 66 points per game on their home court. Total-wise, Tennessee 60% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, 6 out of Auburn's last 9 got over the number themselves. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Auburn plus two and a half and the over 136 and a half in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's college basketball action. Happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Now, before we go ahead and move on, just got to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where once again, we do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just $1.99 per month. We went 3-2 and two yesterday in our five premium picks on that site. We're also hitting at 12-3 and three in our last 15 NBA tier package plays. And the good news is this, amongst all this college basketball, we do have an NBA tier package play going off tonight. Now, you might be wondering, you know, why would you buy a package from me when I give you all the picks for free here on YouTube? And that's certainly a great thought, a great question, uh, a great concern of yours. 
But the uh, problem with that is if you were going to bet every single game on the board side in total, uh, like I'm giving you here on YouTube, it's certainly a, a, a bad system to play. It's not a winning formula for success. And as a matter of fact, you're probably going to end up uh, losing all of your bankroll uh, in a very, very short period of time. The books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. And the more games you play like that, the more aggressively the math becomes against you. So what I do on Patreon, I break it down and focus in on four to five premium uh, picks per day. Uh, I make life a lot easier for you in that sense. And they're high percentage picks, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on uh, YouTube, handicapping every single game on the board. So if you guys are interested in that site, we have over 1,100 members currently signed up and active on that site. It's a very, very good community. So link for that site is in the description section below. And you can check out my current record uh, on Patreon for free. It is right on the homepage. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Kentucky taking on the Gators, 1 o'clock Florida. The Gators are minus 2.5 at home, total 136 and a hook. We are uh, seeing money on Florida and the over in this one. A one-point move toward the Gators and a half a point move upward on the total. The Gators open 1.5, up to minus 2.5. Total open 136, up to 136.5. Kentucky is plus $1.30 on the money line. Now, Kentucky, winners of eight out of their last nine. They've also gone 7-2 against the spread as the official road team this year. They rank in the top three in offensive free throw percentage in the country. They're also in the top 15 in defensive field goal percentage as well. The Gators on the other side dropped two out of their last four. They're also just 6-8 and eight against the spread on their home court. And if you're into historical trends, the Gators are just 3-7 and seven in their last 10 head-to-head matchups with Kentucky. Now, total-wise, Kentucky 60% to the over in their last five. 7-2 to the over as the official road team. I'm going to lean Kentucky plus 2.5 in the over 136.5 in that game. Next matchup, Kansas, Texas Tech, 2 o'clock tip-off. The Jayhawks are laying three on the road, total at 133. We are seeing money on Kansas and the over in this one. A half a point move toward the Jayhawks and a one point move upward on that total. Kansas open two and a half up to minus three. Total open 132 up to 133. 65% are leaning Kansas, 68% on the over. Right now, Texas Tech is plus a buck 40 on the money line. The Raiders have also lost their last three straight games. They failed to cover the number in four out of their last six as well. Texas Tech is just 7-9 and nine against the spread on their home court, and they've really, really struggled in offensive rebounding this year. Now, Kansas on the other side, they rank in the top 10 in offensive field goal percentage, top 35 in offensive rebounding on the road. They're allowing just 55 points per contest when they travel, and they're holding their opponents to just 36% from the field when they travel as well. Now, total-wise, this is a really, really uh, interesting trend here. Kansas, 11-0 and to the under. On the road this year, 11-0 and to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean Kansas minus three in the under 133. Next contest, Seton Hall versus Creighton, 230 Eastern tip-off. The Blue Jays of Creighton, they are minus three and a half, total 151 and a hook. We are seeing money on Creighton and the under in this one. The Blue Jays open two and a half, up to minus three and a half, total open 152, down to 151 and a hook. Right now, the Pirates of Seton Hall, they are plus a buck 55 on the money line. Seton Hall, winners of three out of their last four. They're also eight and three straight up as the official road team. The Pirates ranked the top 35 in road scoring, top 20 in road defensive rebounding. Now, Creighton on the other side, they're giving up 70 points per contest. Meanwhile, their opponents are shooting 47% from the field against them. Now, total-wise, we're looking at a Creighton team who went 5-2 and two to the over in their last seven. They're also 11-5 to the over on their home court. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Seton Hall plus 3.5 in the over. 151.5 in that game. Next matchup, Penn State Northwestern. 4 o'clock tip-off. The Nittany Lions are laying 7 points away from home. Total at 140.5. Money's on Penn State and the over in this one. The Nittany Lions open 6.5 up to minus 7. Total open 139.5 up to 140 and a hook. Northwestern, losers of 18 out of their last 20 games. They also went just 4-11 straight up at home this year, 3-12 against the spread in that same category. 
Northwestern averaging 64 points per contest on their home court. I think it's the Ryan Fieldhouse. Uh, anyway, they are uh, also 39% from the field on their home court as well. Penn State on the other side, they rank in the top 45 in road scoring, top 35 in road offensive rebounding. Now, total-wise, the Nittany Lions are 70% to the under as the official road team. Meanwhile, Northwestern, 10-5 and five to the under on their home court. I'm going to lean Penn State minus 7 in the under, 140.5 in that game. 